All right, welcome back. We know who the newest Charger is. I think maybe I now be talking to the happiest Charger, quarterback Philip Rivers. How you doing, Phil? Hey, Ken, what's going on? Doing good. <laughs> hey, DJ Fluker, they did it, Phil. They got you a big old guy to help up there with your other buddies on the line. Six foot, what's this guy, six five, three thirty nine. 339. Um, you're a big, huge college football fan. What do you know about DJ Fluker? Well, I mean, I think the first thing you think of is he's played on national championship teams. Um, so, obviously, uh, he, he's used to winning. And uh, just the clips I've seen of him, you know, he just he, he can just tell he just he, he loves to play. I mean, he's diving around. He's knocking guys on their back. He's he's uh, playing with a lot of injury. I saw, energy. I saw him chasing this running back into the end zone. So, um, he uh, he's obviously a heck of a football player, and uh, he'll be right into the mix here real soon. Hey, uh, Philip. I know that you you do you love your guys up there. I mean, if I if I were blocking for you, you'd find kind words to say, and we both know that would be trouble. Uh, but how badly did you want them to address that position here in the first round? Well, yeah, those are all hard ones to answer. And I mean, I, I think everybody knows by now what I feel about the guys and how much I appreciate the guys sure. in front. Uh, but I think what we've dealt with the last few years uh, with injury. Uh, we've had a lot of unfortunate injuries, uh, and you look at Chris Dillman, uh, you know, having retired due to injury, Marcus McNeil retiring due to, due to injury, uh, you lose Lou Vasquez in, in free agency, and uh, you look at losing Gaither, and um, so, so I think it was uh, it was definitely a position of need, and, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to get him in here and let him get into the mix. I, I can also say I was uh, super excited and, and uh <clears throat> Um, uh, optimistic about the group that we had even before him uh, with what we had uh, that first mini camp a week and a half ago or a week ago last week so uh, I think he'll get right into the mix and certainly uh, you know be a be a, be a be a part of it I, I, I believe you and I, I, I got to talk about this kid you see it very physical you see it on film and you hear that he has that proverbial nastiness um, you just lost a guy uh, Lou Vasquez had a bit of that uh, obviously Chris Dealman was the epitome of that and since he's gone down your guys record been it's been noticeable that Chris Dealman is not a part of this team Can you, is that an accurate you think assessment that, that if this guy's bringing that kind of nastiness that's a facet that's really important no, it's definitely important, and I think we got some guys that have those, that same trait. But um, I, you know, I, I always like to describe as guys that just love football, love to mm -hmm. play football. And at the running back position, that means something different than it does at the wide receiver position or a linebacker position. At the old line position, guys that love to play football, that's how it comes out. You see it in their nastiness, in their energy, in their just the way they play, play to play. So I definitely uh, think he uh, has those characteristics, you know, and. Um, It'll be good. It'll be good if we could get him in the fold and, and get going. Like I said, I think one of the biggest things is he's won a ton of football games yeah. uh, playing there in the, in the best conference that there is, and uh, those of us like to be a champion. So we want to. Obviously, that's where we're striving for. So it'll be good to have him have him be a part of it. Have you talked to him yet? I haven't talked to him. I, I texted him. I know. He, I mean, he was in New York. I saw him, and uh, I know he's he's had a lot going on. So I just texted him. You know, look forward to. You being a part of our guys up front, being part of the OL, and, and see you soon. So I, I don't really expect anything back right away. But um, it's uh, it's uh, going back, thinking it's been nine years since I was drafted. Time flies. You realize how, what a special day, an exciting day that is. You know, all of a sudden yeah. you're told you're told where you're going to live. And uh, you know, thankfully for for me, it's been right here in San Diego for nine years. But it's uh, time flies. So I know it's an exciting time for him. But I just wanted to let him know we're uh, we're excited to have him. Man, Alabama too. That's a great state, Philip. That's it. I'm telling you, you saw those Alabama players get plucked off nine, ten, eleven. I heard there's, hey, there's been a lot of good players come from Alabama. Well, not just the school. I'm just talking I'm, about that. That's where their home is. That's what I meant. I know. And I'm talking to one right now. I know it, man. Love it. <laughs> uh, hey, last time that uh, the Chargers drafted a rookie uh, uh, offensive lineman high and uh, threw him right in there. Um, Marcus McNeil, and I'm talking, I know Lou Vasquez was in the third round, but Marcus McNeil, second round, left tackle, takes over for Roman Oban. That worked out pretty well for a while, so uh, th this will be good. Yeah, no, it did. I mean, I think Marcus was pick 50, and uh, yep. he started as a rookie. My, my first ever start was Marcus McNeil's yep. first start. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, again, you hate, you, hate, you hate the injury deal because he'd mm. probably still be playing right there. He'd still be lining up right there, but no, it's uh, – 
It's uh, no, it's good. I mean, I think this obviously, obviously, I, I, I mean, I obviously have our guys do their homework and, and, and scout and watch these guys, and I have a great deal of faith in the guys up front and who they decide on. So I definitely think this pick was warranted, and I think he uh, he'll come in and. And uh, be ready to go. Hey, my last thing, Phil, you don't uh, have a say, but my understanding is I hear he's going to be over at right tackle. Um, and regardless, uh, he's physical. I mean, there's questions about his pass blocking. I think one of the things this brought up to me is this isn't North Turner's offense anymore. We don't know what this offense is going to be in terms of uh, pass distribution. Where will the passes be? I mean, you've talked about that. We, you, uh, Ken Wisenhunt, Mike McCoy, these guys bring so much different background. Uh, what do you think your guys' offense going to look like? Yeah, I, I mean, I honestly think good luck trying to figure it out. I mean, I don't mean figure it out. Obviously, we'll, well, obviously you have game tape and, you, and you'll, you'll see it in training camp and things like that. But as far as the exact system, it's not, oh, they're running this system. Oh, they're running this system. Obviously, Ken wasn't under coordinator, and he is installing the system that he's ran for many years. But from that, you got to think there's going to be a mix from Mike McCoy when he's in Carolina, from Mike McCoy in Denver from what we've done here for nine years. And uh, I think you try to mold all that into one thing and, and you're going to see a little bit of everything. So, um, yeah, and, and you mentioned right tackle again. Where where, where, uh, where DJ ends up, who knows? I mean, I, you know, again, I know Jeremy Clary's been a big part of what we've done mm -hmm. now for, for a handful of years. And, and I think probably got a lot of unfair criticism, uh, in my opinion. Uh, he's played a lot of football. He's a tough, tough guy and, uh, and played really well. So, I, I, I would expect Clary to still be uh, a part of that group uh, when we get rolling. Uh, where, who knows, just like who knows where DJ will end up, but right. Clary's going to be a part of that group as we get going through the season. Hey, Phil, sleep well tonight, and I really appreciate you joining us, and I know you're looking forward to uh, this kid and the rest of the draft picks coming in, but really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Yeah, okay, Tim, that's the problem now. You have to wait 24 hours so you get another new teammate, but no, thanks. Thanks for having me on. You don't like to wait. See you, Phil. All right. Uh, we, uh, we'll, we'll be back, and uh, we'll be looking at Eddie Brown's mock draft and how does it line up with how the real draft went in the first round so far.